guys, welcome back to Mommy and on the go. So if you want that look, I hope it's not that scary. We can start off with our eyebrows and then we can have our transition color on our eyeshadow and then blend it a little bit on that motion. Then we're gonna deepen it with a darker color, which is just usually dark brown or black, and then on the corner as well and then we just have to blend this out all together and after we have uh, those corners in darker color what we can do is we're gonna blend it again keep on blending no harsher line yes that's how we make our eyeshadow so this side of the eye is the normal looking eye so to pop the eye make sure we have glitters in there or you can do any kind of eye makeup in here so it's in your discretion but in my end i just want to make it so fancy and this is how my eye will look so more glitter glitter is life after this one we have to blend it all together yes get a cleaner brush or the brush that you use with that darker orange earlier and then don't forget to connect it under the eye with black now what i'm using right here i have been comfortable with using the magnetic eye liner then you put the magnetic eyelash easy as one two three oh now it's time for us to draw the cracking line you know you don't want your pumpkins to crack <laughs> anyways this is how we're gonna dry it i spit it up for a little bit but you can pause it if you are following along with me so just like a draw a cracking line over there starting off with a pencil a black pencil and then keep on going <laughs> make it line so i've noticed here we have to make our lines you don't have to be perfect oh and now i'm using this paint face paint color i was hoping this could be orange but this is how orange it could be it's closer to pink so what i do is i just got this little angled brush to make sure that i cover the corner and the lines as well as the tip of the tip and then we'll just have to speed this up and enjoy your time doing this it's actually relaxing it's satisfying to do this and take your time don't get stressed out this would be quick i promise you All right, now I am using a wider, a tad bit wider brush so that we could speed this thing up. It does not need to be perfect, but just then again, you notice it, it's orangey pink. So what I do here is I got this is for two reasons, to make it orange and then get the yellow. At first, I put in the orange one, but it did not work. So I had the yellow. So to combine the yellow with the pink, I got the orange color that I wanted. So that is it. And just to make sure we are not harsh on our line and to also add depth on our painting on <laughs> our canvas on our money obra on our drawing i just added up a black um, eyeshadow in there so now we are on the other eye so what i'm gonna do here on the other eye i use that um paint again and it's easier with that but i also had to make sure that i cover it with the black eyeshadow again just to make sure it would not scatter up and there you go that's what i'm talking about so just go over it with another black eyeshadow just put it on top of it so it's not gonna be so creamy and it would be powdery now so it's not gonna scatter 
And now we are drawing the cracks of our pumpkin. So it's not super cracked like that. We just need a little bit of crack on top. And yes, it's not working anymore. <laughs> so I have to shake that all up. And then another one on the side of my face. There we go. It looks like our pumpkin is cracked enough. And I don't know why we're going to draw that black thing on our nose. I guess just to make sure that... <laughs> It's cracked enough. Then here we go with our jack-o'-lantern mouth. You can do whatever design you want, but I just want to be realistic here. When I do my jack-o'-lantern, I always just get this kind of... I'm not a carver. You know, if you're a good carver, you can actually draw that in your face as well. But I'm not. I usually just resort to just making triangles, in this case diamonds and call it a day that's how our jack-o'-lantern looks like every year so again if you take a look at this it's not perfect i'm actually running out of my gel pen but it's okay do not stress out it is just a makeup for halloween no one's perfect just try your best to make it as even as possible and if not it's part of the design <laughs> All right, and now just to make sure that it looks like a pumpkin, we'll just have a little bit of lines in there. There you go. So it's more 3D. And we are done. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow this. If you like this, please do subscribe and or, you know, share it. Thank you so much, everyone. By the way, after this one, I went to visit my students, gave them pumpkins for real, for real life. And they were so curious about my makeup. So I'm happy that I did this. I made them smile. Some of them were scared, but it's okay. Thank you, everyone. Happy Halloween. Bye.